questions, which I think are, are probably a more common experience yeah. relating to this. Yeah, absolutely. But not exactly going to below the belt, if you will. Yeah. You know <laughs> which which I mean. these guys, but the, which Ice Cube did. What's, yeah. um, what should... What should the woman do because this is from the girlfriend yeah this is from the girlfriend she has to apologise yeah obviously. she has to apologise which she said she has yeah but I think it's just like a time heals all wounds thing yeah, yeah. you know you're self-conscious about it do not bring it up yeah yeah right I like, mean especially because well she already makes fun of him like jokingly to him yeah like in private yes the fact that he takes that as it is and he's just like haha very funny yeah you're right I, I, and then like he's, I feel been, like he's, he's giving her a little bit about it. and then she pushed the boundaries a little bit too far and was yeah. like guess what I'm going to tell everyone because mm-hmm. yeah. maybe she thought he was enjoying it so much that or maybe he's comfortable to sort yeah. of own it you yeah. made him the butt of the joke yeah, yeah. you, would, you cool. wouldn't like to be made the butt of the joke so don't make him just yeah. ha- just celebrate his penis yeah. more in the future yeah. Yeah. make him feel good about have it have a party for it that's right <laughs> print up penis posters party. print up posters of it <laughs> put on his face invite all their friends maybe not their friends oh okay well, they're not the most supportive when it comes to his penis maybe I'm missing my point there yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what Hang do you the, think yeah I think so just be more compassionate in regards to the stuff he's self conscious yeah. about I'm, I'm with you on that one alright let's leave it there for Ice Cube I want to go next yes I hope um, I'm not using your only rapper. Oh, I looked up Google just to make Good sure. Good to know. It's going to come from Eminem. Of course. Ah, Mr. Yes. Mr. 8 Mile himself. The Oscar winner. How do you feel about a actor playing themselves in like a biopic? Oh, like in 8 Mile? Yeah, like 8 Mile. Um, it's like, nobody can play me but me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like he, he was. What did you think of his performance? In he was I mean, good I enough. Only I seen guess it once. I feel. I mean, he rapped well. Yeah, yeah. he sounded exactly he won an Oscar like. For it. He sounded exactly like Eminem. Yes, he did. Well, well there. Uh, I, I think at the time, like Wait, that did was. Did he win an Oscar for for, it? for lose yourself? Not not his acting. Oh, the song. Yeah, yeah I was just the singing. Song. Yeah. Well, um, I think at the time that was like peak Eminem popularity. So it made sense for him to play him. Struck the uh, while the iron's hot. Yes, sort of exactly. Thing. Yeah. Whereas now, I think if he was to play himself, it would come off a bit. Yeah, so it's like when they have like a movie about the Doors or something. Yeah, yes. and that, like they don't have Jim Morrison playing. Yeah, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Yeah, because he's but dead. They, yeah. But they have the next best thing of <laughs> Val Kilmer. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, he did look like hey, Jim. He Jim Val Morrison. killed it. I'm yeah. trying to think of like other uh, other movies now where uh, like people played themselves in the in the movie. I know, I know, I know that Fifty Cent did in in Get Rich or Die Trying. Oh, true. Which was about his life as well. That was another rapper that I. Yeah, yeah. Fifty Cent has got a big list of them. So <laughs> I, I was watching an interview with Madonna recently, yeah. and do you know how the, what's hot right now is like the Elton John movie, Queen movie, yeah, all yeah, these biopics yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the interviewer asked her, "Who's going to play you in your film?" Yeah. It's just like, I'm going to play me. And it's like, no, you're not. Oh, I saw this interview. Was she wearing an eye patch? She was wearing an eye patch. <laughs> I'm going to play me. It's like, you're playing a pirate right yeah. now. <laughs> That's Madonna's look, by the way, now. She's wearing an eye she's patch. She's an eye patch. So, but like, Why also, kids are loving she's eye in her 60s now. Yeah. I can't imagine... If she's playing like her life story, yeah. she's not going to be able to pull, up, pull off an 18-year-old. They're going to Benjamin nah. Button it and just give her some special so. effects. It's the most expensive movie ever made because they yeah. had to make her look young. Although they are using like that de-aging technology in a lot of films now to yeah. get rid of wrinkles and that type of thing. Yeah. Mm. Don't know how good it is yet. Mm. Might I not know. be able to uh, accomplish that. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, this comes from uh, Eminem. Yep. How do I control my emotions when I'm tired or hungry? Put it on record, Eminem. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like you're so good at it. Hi, everyone. I noticed that when I'm tired from a difficult or long task, uh, example, walking too far or walking for a long time, okay. um, I become very tired and it shows in my facial expression, speed and attitude. I feel sluggish and unable to have a good mood. My mother is very upset when I behave this way and she always tells me to control my emotions. And then even if I'm tired or hungry, still smile, laugh and have lots of energy. It's very difficult for me to smile and laugh when I'm so tired and hungry. <laughs> How can I control my emotions despite being tired or hungry? Thank you, Eminem. Some might say she loses herself. She <laughs> lost herself, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this is something I am finding harder to deal with now that I'm getting older. I okay. mean, not that um, we're past it yet. I mean, Tom is. He's, uh, yeah, he's yeah, basically. Yeah. I clearly am. Is your, pe- is your pension at card came yet? Uh, I'm still waiting. Okay, still waiting cool. yeah. It's, it's coming mean, in the mail. I mean, I, I lost my magnifying glass, so I couldn't actually fill in the paperwork. Oh, that's a shame. Tough, but, tough. Yeah. Okay, um, tough break. So I think now, well, I'm 28 now, but I do find myself getting tired a lot quicker now. Yeah. And getting frustrated with that. Oh, really? Like, I have like a, but like. Oh I'm my God, the day's over. No, no. It's, <laughs> it's, there's so much hours left and I'm tired. And I'm missing out on the fun. Oh, jeez, what a bully! You know, <laughs> it's more it's like the guy who was criticizing him for his age. True, <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good point. I mean, more like I, I have like a good night's rest. Yeah, and I'll go. Let's say I go out, and I'll get there, and in my, my inner monologue is basically. I feel tired already. And then getting annoyed at myself and being like, you've had a good night's sleep. Yeah. You've had a coffee. 
Why are you tired? Why do you feel tired right now? I'm just getting annoyed with that right, idea. Right. So this Does that is... not happen to you guys? I don't get annoyed at myself. I just fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been known to fall asleep. I mean, he did, that, he did that to me last night. I was at his house. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, after well, the football. He, after the football, went back to their house yeah. and uh, well, I was just lying on my housemate's bed and eventually one thing led to another, I was asleep. To be fair, he gave me a glass. It was nice. He was a good host. Yeah. Gave me chips, gave me some wine and then he fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So he wined and dined me. Good night. Wine and dined me with some CCs. Yeah. yeah, right. Um, but yeah, I do that. I'm do surprised. You... I thought you guys would be. No, no I don't okay. think so. I think... Uh, do I get? I don't get frustrated. Well, when I'm tired, I get grumpy. Mm. I yeah. do agree with that. But I don't I mean, get that, I... that happens to everybody. I don't get. I don't get internally angry at myself though for why you're tired. I'm okay. just like I. I can accept them. Like I'm tired because of this reason. Okay. I, I don't think I get. Like angry when I'm tired, I get headaches when I get tired. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm I like when I'm tired, I feel like it um affects my head. Yeah, a little bit too much. Yeah. Do you get hangry? No. No, I don't. I personally don't get when too you're hungry and you yeah, just need yeah. to eat. Do you get mad? I don't get mad. No, I'm just like if I'm hungry, I'll just. I usually just like I'm not just I, eat. I think I think I get annoyed at people where it's just like oh, I'm hungry, I'm waiting, and then it's like oh, I just wait a little bit. Like uh, like they just delay like okay, so ordering when, food. Let's just say when food is close to go to yeah you know, being so like we're gonna go out for a restaurant and then you are like you're waiting on like oh no, just give me like five more minutes to get ready, and then they take another half hour yeah. or an hour and all that. I'm like I'm like come on, man. I was hungry an hour ago. You could you could have just said. Go get your own food. I'll do my own thing. But no, I'm with you on that. I'm yeah. a big, I'm a big person of uh, in the belief that when you order like takeaway food and you take it home, yeah, eat it straight away. Yeah, because I mean, the food is warm. Or let's just say if you get Uber Eats or whatever, yeah. the food's warm. The food is there ready to eat. Don't start doing anything else. Yeah, just yeah. eat. Put it in yeah. your mouth. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Put it in your gobble. <laughs> and like I get like I get frustrated when I can't eat the food when it's when I'm in the. Check, I have the food. Check, I'm at home ready to eat. And then something stands in my way. Yeah. Um, that's when I, you get hangry. That's when I get hangry. And I'm just like, oh, I just want to eat. It's like <laughs> needing to go to the bathroom. Do you actually get angry? Like you no, get... I, don't get, I don't get angry. I'm just okay. like, 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 I'll just be like, let's go. Let's eat. Let's go. Come yeah, on, let's yeah. do right, it. The food's here. Let's go. Let's yeah, eat. Yeah. I mean, why are we all just standing around looking at it? Yeah. Let's dig in. Or it's like you get like big boxes of pizza like it's at a party and everyone's just staring at the boxes. It's like, no, no, no. Just grab a grab a box and get start it, eating get it while it's hot yeah. exactly. the best optimal time to eat is when the fruit food is as fresh as possible yes. See, I, I become a mute when I get hungry Oh, that's my version of hungry I just don't say anything it's like my body shuts down yeah. and I need food <laughs> can, it's like now completing the task of uh, nutrients yes yeah. exactly harvesting nutrients and my, my partner's gotten really good now at picking it up like if I'm hungry because she's like you haven't said a word in the last half an hour. I just yeah. like hands that's, me some food. That, that's yeah, very right. undamian like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so it's, it's so it's when you're hung when you're hungry, not while you're eating. No, you no, no. When I'm hungry, I shut down. Is what yeah, I mean. Right. It's like I'm just. But do you, do you not mute. realize it, or do you like? Sometimes I'm I don't realize it if I become a bit too engrossed in something. <laughs> yeah. or... Your body's just in energy saver mode. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when your iPhone like the yeah, battery turns low yellow. Battery, yeah, 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 right. It's like, do you want to put it on low power mode? It's like, yeah, cool. Okay, no worries. Wi Fi's turned off. I'm gonna maintain as much, you know, before I shut down completely. You've got no internet connection. <laughs> Unreachable, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, so this person here yes. has, the, has the issue of they get when they're tired or hungry. Yes, either or. And, yeah. and their problem is they're taking it out on other people by the sounds of it. That's right. That's I right. don't know. I think it, th- I don't know if there's much you can do to that because it just seems like that's how they deal with it. Like yeah. everybody has their way. It's a, it's not the best way, mm-hmm. but it's just their natural response to being in that type of uh, yeah. yeah mindset. I don't like the advice of. Just smile and laugh and everything's okay. Pretend. That's bullshit. That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> if you can't hide your emotions, that's, that's okay. It's okay to be angry and just like, don't just smile. It's, you can't do it. Maybe carry around like a Snickers in your pocket or something. Oh, like, okay. like, like they're just bought into their advertising campaign, campaign yeah, that says, yeah. you're not yourself when you're hungry. But also, exactly. I, this person is not just, I don't think they're just hungry. It's more just in general, when they're mm. tired, they get angry. Tiredness, I can't. Look, I am one that when I get tired, I get grumpy. I get like, I, I become like noticeably different. Yeah, I've seen you. Yeah, you noticeably. Tried, there's a real Dr. Jekyll and Hyde situation where Marcus goes from tired, I mean, normal to tired. Yeah, once I'm tired, that's Dr. It. Jekyll and Mr. Tired. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah exactly. But I think in this person's situation they probably just have to think be more Mindful. aware of yeah of how they're act, treating other people yeah because they're not the reason you feel tired yeah that's purely internal don't externalize it and make everybody else feel as miserable as you are if yeah. you're in a bad mood at work does do you think that that shows to most people absolutely yes. yeah? Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure you reckon you you don't have a good way of sort of like just being Handling like oh, fuck it i'll just my, I, my tell is always that i go quiet that's what <laughs> i tell everything so people are like damn you, you haven't said anything the last hour are you okay i'm like yeah i'm fine yeah, yeah. but like, i might fine. just be tired or yeah, you know hungry. whatever probably hungry yeah. Yeah. so you can relate to this 
this person to a degree, but I don't take it out on other people. Yeah, my office, I'm like, where the fuck is my paperwork and that type of stuff. Jenny's desk, like, damn it, Jenny. Jenny deserved it though. Um, yeah, I think just be more mindful. Don't make other people miserable just because you are. Yeah, I feel like if I'm not if I'm not feeling great at work, yeah, I feel like I still just sort of you put it on. I feel like I put it on. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're yeah. an actor. I am an actor. <laughs> no, I, I don't feel like, and I don't. Is it a bad thing to be like that? To sort of just be like, I need to sort of get through the it's day. Not, it's better. It's better that you're like is that. that better than... or does that make me like an, like a bad person? No, I like don't think lying so. To people, you're not lying. You don't want to take it out on other people. You might be internally right. shitty. Right. At yourself for being tired, but yeah. you might not be like, I don't need to take it out on these people. Yeah, that's why I feel that's, like they didn't deserve. Mm. They didn't do this. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, I, I wish I could do that. I wish like, I can like hide my tiredness. Like you're not the reason. Like that you don't have any lunch to eat. Exactly. Yeah. So you're, you're doing the right thing. Right. Yeah. This guy needs to take a leaf out of your book. Yeah. Right? Right. You're you're living your life right. Yes. There we go. Well, thank you, boys. I didn't realize <laughs> that, that was going to be a compliment from this question. Um, but show me your penis. Don't need to measure. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> tape measure's ready. Yeah, yeah. Tape measure by the ready. So do you think that's enough for Mr. Mr. Eminem? I think, I think so. so. I think All right, so. Marshall. It's the end Little of the Eminem show. All right, Marshall, you've had enough. Marcus. Yes. So I had a few few up the sleeve. Okay, well, now you can sort of tell us all the list of everyone. Uh, I was going to go uh, possibly like, with the Mr. Ice-T. Okay. We already had an Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah, he's, just, he's in TV shows he's as well. He's in TV he? shows, yes, yeah. yes. And the other one, and which one I am going to go for, because he's probably more famous for being an actor than he was a rapper, is Marky Mark. Oh! Of course, and the Funky Bunch. Vibrations. Who do you exactly. think your guy? Who do you think your favorite rapper actor is? Um, Mark Wahlberg. I just yeah. realized. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I love. I love a bit of Marky Mark. Marky I Mark's like, pretty funny. I think everyone forgets that he was, you yeah. know, a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. He's in Boogie Nights. He's in the the Departed. The Departed. The Departed. Yep. He's in. He's in your other favorite movie. What's What's the um where the plants kill everybody? The plants kill everybody. Oh, the happening. The yeah. Happen- <laughs> That That's a spoiler of that, by the way. That's the end. It's not the plants, it's the air. If, oh. no, if nobody's seen that movie, you did them a favour by spoiling oh, that and movie. And he's in the movie Fear. Have you seen the movie Fear? No, I haven't seen Fear. Oh, it's so good. He's like an oh, o- yeah, no, I've seen the overprotective wait, wait, boyfriend. He, he, does, he, does a, he does his own tattoo with like a pen. Yeah, with a pen on his chest. Yeah. It says like... Reese What's the girl's with, name? It says yeah. like uh, Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Reese forever. <laughs> for EVA. It's like yeah. so like high school. Are they actually shit. together? Yeah, yeah like the he's, they he's obsessed with her. Okay. And you know, yeah. you know who is the dad? The guy from CSI, the original old dude. Yes. yes. Gresham. From CSI, um, with I the red hair? No, 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 no. That's, that, that's Miami. That's John Gresham, I think. There's, I remember there's a really John good... John Gresham's an, an, a novel writer. Yeah, it is John Gresham. There's a really... <laughs> <laughs> Are you making that up? No, I can't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure it's Gresham. There's, there's a really good scene, just to talk about fear a little bit more. Um, there's a really good <laughs> so scene. what's the plot of the movie? The plot of the movie is um, she falls in love with this guy who seems like a nice guy. He becomes a little bit over-possessive. Okay. Um, and the, the father, like all her friends don't want her to be with her. With him. Is he like slowly isolating her from family yeah, and friends? Yeah, and then okay. she sort of like cuts him off, but then he can't take it. He All can't right. have it. Natalie forever. And that's when the fear kicks in. But there's a scene where he gets to the dad's car, because um, the dad said to like, stay away from my daughter. He gets to the dad's car and like smashes up the wind. It's like a nice Mustang, like a classic car. Okay. Smashes it all up. And then he's written on the car... Now I've popped both your cherries. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Marky this Mark! This movie Marky sounds Mark. horrible. It's the it's it's nineties. It's as nineties as you could oh, ever believe. Is. You should watch it. His name is Gil Grissom. Gil okay. Grissom. That's it. Close From enough. Like, John close. Grissom. <laughs> Oh, of course, he had a G in it. You had a G in it. <laughs> had vowels in it. It's a word. All right. It's a word. Anyway, let's hear yeah, it from Marky Mark. My question. There we go. Marky Mark writes in, unreasonable neighbour? Mm-hmm. I accidentally backed into my neighbour's mailbox, knocking it down. Mm-hmm. It left a big scratch and a dent in my car. Mm-hmm. I offered to pay for the mailbox. As long as he repairs my car as it was his mailbox, that did the damage. Well, this jerk is refusing, so I decided not to replace the mailbox. Now he is screaming at me and threatening to file a police report. What a lunatic. How should I deal with this maniac? I mean, it was his mailbox that did the damage. What? You're the maniac! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Monkey like... That mailbox came out of nowhere! <laughs> that is like, okay, running somebody over and saying... Well, your skull cracked my windshield, <laughs> yeah. so you have to pay for it. What logic is that? I don't know, man. This, this, <laughs> Some crazy people out there on this <laughs> website. Mark, Monkey Mark. Some people like try to... It's almost like that attitude that I feel like happens nowadays where no one is responsible. Or yeah. Like, I'm not responsible. I'm not yeah, responsible yeah. for this. Yeah. Your mailbox shouldn't have been there. Yeah, it just fucking came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, how, how could I be held responsible for that? 
Yeah. If your mailbox was there, I would never have damaged my car. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap my head around this logic. <laughs> in no world it, does it make sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. How, unless, how, big, of a, how big of a mailbox would have been delivered dent in your car? No, Maybe but, it was one of those brick ones. Oh, yeah, but then how yeah. damaged would the mailbox be? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and so you drive a car through, it's like, mailbox still here. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I am, um, unless the mailbox was on some. 